a Gwinnett County educator received very special honors at the state capitol after a stage three cancer diagnosis forced her to retire. Channel 2's Lori Geary caught up with Allison Miller Johnson, who now is teaching a much more serious subject. Textbooks are outdated by the time they arrive in our schools. We first met Allison Miller Johnson just over a year ago when she was assistant superintendent of Buford City Schools, touting it was one of the first public school systems in Georgia using iPads. It has been a pleasure to serve the public schools of Georgia for 28 and a half years. Thirteen months later, the Georgia Senate was honoring her, her big brother, Senator Butch Miller, looking on. For almost three decades of helping to inspire kids to learn, 17 of those years spent in Gwinnett Public Schools. And it's very inspirational, and inspiration is, is important for me right now. A stage three diagnosis of ovarian cancer pushed an energetic Johnson into early retirement. Statistics say she has about a 70% chance of losing her battle within five years. But don't tell her that. My numbers are very good right now. I'm determined to be an outlier. I'm going to make lies of the statistics. And as soon as I get well, I'll be back. Um, thank you so much for recognizing me today. Johnson is still focused on education, but now her students are women, trying to educate as many women as she can about this deadly disease. She's using her time and the energy that she can muster to help organize a first-of-its-kind walk in Gwinnett County focused on ovarian cancer. Reporting from the state capitol, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News. And the Walk for Women We Love happens May 19th at 9 a.m. It's just three miles and starts at the Lawrenceville Square. And you can go to web links on WSBTV.com to find out how you can get involved. You can find out more about Walk for the Women We Love. Just look for a link on the homepage under the News tab.